Currency and this is Rincey Reads. Today I'm going to be doing a book review on Men We Reaped by Jasmine Ward. This is an art copy that I got from BEA and I was super excited when I saw it just sitting on a table with no one going for it. Jasmine Ward won the National Book Award for her book Salvage the Bones which I read earlier this year and I will leave my link to that book review down below. While that was a fiction novel, this is actually a memoir by Jasmine Ward. Within four years, Jasmine Ward ended up losing five men within her life. In this book, she explores basically what happened to these men and also just how that affected her and also just her experiences growing up as a lower class or lower middle class black person in Mississippi. This book was really, really interesting to read, especially after reading Salvage the Bones. You can tell how much of herself and her own stories went into Salvage the Bones now that you know sort of the truth behind everything that's happened in her life. She is pretty honest about the things that happened. She talks about race and alcohol and drug addiction and she doesn't make herself look necessarily any better. She's very honest about the things that she's done and the way that she's coped with these deaths. I enjoyed the way that the story was set up. It actually goes both chronologically and reverse chronologically at the same time. Every other chapter is dedicated to a specific person who passed away but she starts with the most recent death and goes backwards and then in between those chapters she's also telling us about her own life growing up in Mississippi and in those chapters she's going chronologically. You are simultaneously learning about all of these people while also getting more and more context as the book goes on for the way things are and not that the situation necessarily excuses everything that happens. You can definitely understand more about why what happens does happen. This is definitely one of those books where you're not going to be very happy reading it. Everything in this book is filled with sorrow. It makes you really sad about the way that this country deals with race and poverty. But at the same time, I feel like this is one of those books that needs to be read by people. A lot of people are very unaware of some of the harsher truths that are out there. Jasmine Ward is a really great writer and you can definitely imagine all the things that she talks about in this book. I didn't 100% connect to this book though. I felt like very much I was just looking in on this world. I never really felt engaged with everything that's happening. It very much just feels like Jasmine Ward's telling you these stories about her life and while you do feel bad and feel sorrowful, I feel like there is still a little bit of a distance between the reader and what's happening in the book. And I feel like that also just has to do with the fact that this is a memoir style. Anything that is a memoir like this, you're always just observing things from the outside. There's no way to fully put yourself into the book, which is just something that I prefer. In the end, I gave this book a three and a half out of five stars. I really enjoyed it, but I think that distance kept me from really pushing this over to a four star book. But I do still highly recommend this for people, especially if you're someone who enjoys memoirs. This would definitely be a memoir to check out. So yeah, those are all of my thoughts on Men We Reaped. If you have read this book or are interested in this book, feel free to leave your comments down below. So yeah, that's all I have for now. Thanks for watching.